the COVID-19 pandemic affects everyone, everywhere. But it affects different groups of people differently, deepening existing inequalities. Today, we are launching a report that shows how COVID-19 could reverse the limited progress that has been made on gender equality and women's rights, and recommends ways to put women's leadership and contributions at the heart of resilience and recovery. Nearly 60% of women around the world work in the informal economy, earning less, saving less, and at greater risk of falling into poverty. As markets fall and businesses close, millions of women's jobs have disappeared. At the same time, as they are losing paid employment, women's unpaid care work has increased exponentially as a result of school closures and the increased needs of older people. These currents are combining as never before to defeat women's rights and deny women's opportunities. Progress lost take years to regain. Teenage girls out of school may never return. I urge governments to put women and girls at the center of their efforts to recover from COVID-19. That starts with women as leaders with equal representation and decision-making power. Measures to protect and stimulate the economy from cash transfers to credits and loans must be targeted at women. Social safety nets must be expanded. Unpaid care work must be recognized and valued as a vital contribution to the economy. COVID-19 is not only challenging global health systems, but testing our common humanity. Gender equality and women's rights are essential to getting through this pandemic together, to recovering faster, and to building a better future for everyone.